go. So our project is basically making a virtual try-on mirror. Try-on rooms that you have normally in the shops require energy, require time. By making a virtual try-on mirror, you're basically letting the user try on the clothing standing in front of the mirror without practically undressing themselves. Now, our objective was to achieve this using a computer vision algorithm. So basically, the objectives of our project have been, first, we need to select a algorithm for the computer vision selection of the clothes. So for that, we have the options of hand gesture, QR code, and clothes recognition. As of yet, we have selected the QR code and even implemented it. The reason for that is A, given the circumstances, B, we did not want to add unnecessary complexity to it, and this is also easy to handle. Second, after implementing and selecting ke hum logo ne, um, clothes selection ke liye kya algorithm use karna hai, the next step is 3D pose algorithm humne konsa use karna hai, testing it, implementing it, and analyzing it. So after doing much research, we realized and we observed that uh, among all the methods, the method in which 2D pose estimation karke, then we converted to 3D pose estimation was the best method and it was also computationally inexpensive. After uh, 3D pose estimation, the third step is third step is ke is pure process ke andar hume camera set karna hai, display set karna hai and computing device configure karni hai. Moving on, Close selection ho chuki hai and then 3D pose estimation ho chuki hai humara thoda sa hardware part jo tha wo integrate ho chuka hai and then we have augmented reality in which what we are doing is humare jo clothing ke models hain use hum user ke background ke upar draw karwa rahe hain as in to give the final outlook of the clothing on the user now the fifth point in this objective slides as it suggests was computer vision, the UI part, the computer vision part and the AR part. We had to integrate all of these together using an inter-process communication. The non-functional requirements of the project, we had to achieve a real-time speed, it had to be low cost, it had to be computationally inexpensive, the visual results should be good and the project should be flexible in terms of future uh, prospects and also in terms of usage. Now, the next step is to actually, the next step is to actually define how the system is designed. So our system is basically divided into two parts, two major parts. The first part is the computer vision portion, right? The computer vision portion we are implementing using a Python program. And the second part is the AR portion, augmented reality portion. That one we are implementing using the processing Java program. Now. Breaking it into smaller parts, how we're doing that. The first is we capture an image from the user. The image is captured by a rotated camera, rotated webcam. This uh, image when it goes inside the computer is rotated again to make it vertical. It's resized to make it into a small size so that it is easier for the computer to perform the computation on it. The next step is we apply the pose estimation on it. As explained earlier, we first apply the 2D pose estimation. For that, we're using the 2D pose estimation convolutional neural network by Google. After performing the 2D pose estimation, the next step is to convert the 2D pose estimation to 3D pose estimation. The conversion algorithm from 2D to 3D has been, after much research, selected from a paper that has also been added to the references. The third part now is QR code detection and QR code decoding. Now what this does is, this makes us understand which clothing model do we want to take up in the, from the modeling data that we have saved. After this, the next step is we give the image, the QR code information and the joint coordinates collected from the previous steps to the Python program and the processing java program through a file-based inter-process communication now this process the inter-process communication was also selected after much research after this the image is scaled again back to the normal size and it is used as a background on which the augmented reality image of the clothing is added 
Now this augmented reality image of the clothing, how this is made. Let's move to the next slide. This one. When we give these joints and the image to the UI, what happens is the AR algorithm notices the difference between the actual model of the clothing and the angle and position of the joints. So it applies geometric transformation on the model of the clothes and it transforms it to the required angle and position. Next step after this is Next step after this is to draw that, draw the geometrically transformed image of the clothing model onto the background of the user image so that he or she can see the final image with the clothing item on in the mirror. Now here is the block diagram of the whole system. So this is the camera, the image goes inside, it's rotated, resized as in the size is reduced to make it computationally easier to handle. Now the image file, there's one image file in which we have this rotated and resized image. There is a pose estimation applied on this image and then we have QR decoding of the QR code provided by the user these three things now what happens for the, this 3d pose estimation applied to this image produces some joint coordinates the qr decoding produces a qr code and the image file remains intact three of these further move on into our interprocess communication scheme that we have researched tested and selected for our specific use case this interprocess communication integrates the UI, AR, and computer VM portion of our uh, project, and it integrates the three of them. What happens next is the image goes out after this, it's scaled again back to the original size and used as a background on which further uh, the model of the clothes will be modeled. And then what happens is the image goes on as it is, and it is used as a uh, as a background on which this transformed model of the uh, clothing is drawn and you get the final display of the user with the clothing item on.